Throughout the House of the Seven Gables many years, it has inspired authors, artists, tourists, ghost hunters, and many more. It was built in 1668 by a merchant and ship owner named John Turner, who was the head of one of the most prominent New England families at the time. It passed to the Ingersoll family in 1782. In 1804, Susanna Ingersoll inherited the home, and then for about a four-year period in the 1840s, Ingersoll's cousin, Nathaniel Hawthorne, worked just down the road at the Custom House and would pop in frequently. These visits inspired Hawthorne to pin his famous novel, The House of the Seven Gables. After the Ingersolls lost the mansion to creditors in the 1870s, the house bounced between a variety of owners until it landed on the Upton family. The artistic and industrious Uptons were both the first to give tours of the mansion and to sell souvenirs relating to it. This makes the House of the Seven Gables the longest running Salem attraction. The final notable owner was Caroline Emerton, who worked with the local architect in the early 20th century to restore it to its original appearance, as well as preserve it for future generations. It is because of Emerton that the House of the Seven Gables stands in such fantastic condition to this very day. The House of the Seven Gables offers one of the most bang for your buck admission policies there is. With the cost of the ticket, you get a 40 minute guided tour of the house itself, access to other facilities on the grounds, including Nathaniel Hawthorne's birthplace, the county house and the living history labs the latter two offer a bunch of activities for kids you also get open access to the seaside gardens and an audio tour offered through a partnership with an app